What's up guys, welcome back to Fully Spooled. On this episode, we're installing whatever is in this box. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been head first in the wiring of the car. I'm, I've been stripping down the old wiring harness and getting the new harness that came, well, that I bought for the LS engine ready to go. Um, but that's becoming quite a process, so I've decided since this box showed up that I want to do this first and then I'll do the wiring episode after this. So let's open her up. Oh, what's that? It's a clutch pedal. And we have our clutch master cylinder. Braided stainless steel clutch line, which has a T56 adapter on it. And bolts. Lots and lots of bolts. Oh, here's my adapter for the clutch line. All right, let's get to this. All right, so to get started on this, we are gonna have to drill a hole, actually right where this hole is currently drilled. And I don't know why that's there. Nothing went through that hole, and that is exactly where the master cylinder goes. You can see a little indent here, uh, if this cable's not in the way. There's an indentation here that uh, is for a bolt to go through, and there should be one down here as well. And then the actual bar goes through the middle here. I don't know why that's drilled through there. It's kind of interesting. And then from inside the car, you can see this is where the hole has been weirdly drilled. And then there's a little marking here for one bolt and then one up there for the other bolt. So I'm going to get started on this thing. I should really clean this area up first so I can get in there. It's a mess. So it looks like the clutch pedal is going to mount right here and the top bolt goes right into this hole right there, which is I'm sure there because of the manual clutch pedal in the SC300. So that's kind of where that goes and it'll sit right down there. I just got, I just got back. I just got back from the store. I got a uh, awl and then my circular saw here so I can cut the hole for the master cylinder out. It said that it had to be an inch and a quarter, and this is an inch and a quarter, so. One very important thing that I just noticed is that the entire thing is offset. See how this is shorter distance here than it is from here? And the same thing, that the hole is drilled further this way. So uh, that's important to know. <laughs> no, of course. There we go. Thank you. 
brilliant. Check it out, it works. Clutch pedal installed. That's really, really cool. Oh, it's so awesome. And here we have it inside the engine bay. It's actually really close here on the right side. I'm hoping that this isn't going to be a problem trying to get the, uh, the banjo bolt on there to get the line to the clutch. We'll find out. So it goes just like this according to the directions. But this guy's gonna go in here like this. There's an O-ring buried inside here. So this will go in here. I'll tighten that down later. And then we have our braided stainless steel clutch line here, which will go in just like this. Sweet! Yeah, that is a big problem. The master cylinder is not going in all the way because the bolt right here is hitting this metal side of the uh, frame here, or the fender or side wall or whatever this guy is. So I'm gonna have to like, kind of dent this wall in a bit to make this thing fit. Well, because nothing's ever easy, I need to pull the brake booster out in order to get the master cylinder out. So I'm gonna have to go through that process now. I was not planning on doing the brakes yet, but I might as well get started getting this thing out just so I can get enough leverage to bend this metal in there because of the poor design of this guy. comes out. Let's put that back to straight. There we go. Fits. What a mess. Well, it rained last night, which I was not really ready for because I don't have to worry about it raining much in SoCal. Ooh. Looks good. A little bit of water in here. A lot of water in there, shit. Anyway, so here's where we left it last night with the brake booster removed and the master cylinder removed to fit this guy in here. You can see how I kind of mangled the uh, metal down here, getting this thing bent in enough. But it's all right, it's no big deal. And um, so there we have our master cylinder mounted, looking quite nice. And then the stainless steel line going down to the transmission. While we're here, let's ditch this stuff too. Looking good. Okay, so now that I have the wiring all out of the way and I have the clutch pedal installed, I can reinstall my crash bar to lift my steering column back up and bolt that in place. And uh, A, I can see where my pedals are and make sure it all looks good. 
and then B, I can start uh, having kind of a skeleton for my wiring so I know what's going to be attached to where and everything. So um, all my sound deadening insulation up here is all gone. I'm going to have to weld a plate over this hole and a bunch of these holes actually. Because um, right here, if you can see, is the engine. It's like that, that close. So I'll weld a plate here, eventually weld up some of these holes, figure out which one of these holes is going to be the uh, pass-through for the wiring harness, because I'm going to have the computer right down here in the footwell on the passenger side. So um, there's quite a bit to do yet still here, but um, I'm excited though because this is all kind of just like fun work. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. This is starting to look like a car again. So here we have our clutch pedal installed. So the brake pedal is huge because it's the automatic pedal. So what I'm going to do is cut the left side of the pedal off here. So we have gas, brake will be kind of where my finger is there. And then the clutch pedal, this part will be gone a little bit. Um, I'm not going to cut that yet though because I haven't figured out my braking system yet. I'm going to be removing the brake booster most likely. Uh, which might change the location of the pedal. So I'm going to wait until I have my brakes sorted. So that way I can use the brake without hitting the clutch pedal and, you know, vice versa. All right, that wraps up this episode. I'm pretty happy with the progress of the car right now. It's starting to actually feel more like a car again. I have the crash bar back in, the pedals are in there, the steering column is back in place. It's starting to feel like a car again, which is really exciting for me. Uh, so for this episode, the clutch pedal went in. The master cylinder went in. I'm uh, okay with the fitment of both, and that's not perfect. I need to trim the left side of the brake pedal off for now, and then later on I will put a, an actual factory brake pedal on. And then the master cylinder, I, I would have liked it to fit a little bit better with the banjo bolt. I, I ended up having to take a hammer and you know taking a good half inch of metal out for the banjo bolt to fit, which is kind of a bummer. It's fine for this car because it's a you know a drift track car, but uh, in terms of uh, if you wanted to have a manual swap in your SC300 or 400 and yours is a nice daily driver, you wouldn't want to take a hammer to the side of the car like that. So uh, if you do want to do a manual swap on your car, I would recommend getting the factory parts and not doing the excessive kit because it's going to leave some marks. So. Um, in, many, in more ways than one. So anyway, there's a lot more left to do in the car. We have to get the interior taken care of, like removing the sound deadening and stuff. I have to get the wiring finished. I started that a little while ago. I need to finish that. Uh, I also have to get the brakes figured out. Um, I decided today pretty much that I'm going to remove the, uh, the brake booster entirely from the system and the ABS and everything else. So that's coming up soon as well as the drive shaft and there's all kinds of stuff still in the works here. So anyway, yeah, there's a lot more coming up on the channel. I'm really excited about it. And if you are liking these videos, please do like and subscribe to Fully Spooled because it helps me out a whole heck of a lot. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, more nipples. Anyway.